So he's through Coldwater Canyon now. He is beginning to approach that Laurel Canyon area again. This is the place where he made that wide U-turn uh, going underneath the freeway around all this traffic and getting on those uh, northbound lanes. It looks like he's coming up towards that exit again. Oh, but now swerving back into the uh, fast lane, the number one lane of traffic. He doesn't have a lot of traffic to contend with here on this eastbound side of traffic. Um, Again, moving at extremely high rates of speeds, just passing up cars as if they were standing still here on this pursuit. Um, we're going to pull out here, see if we can see the black and whites. You can see just a huge amount of distance, maybe about a half mile back before we even see any sort of presence by the LAPD on the ground. We do have that helicopter overhead. We continue to hear calls of the location of this guy. They're going to be radioing in, in units from other areas. There are other jurisdictions that are going to be able to help them out with this. CHP will be notified. They've also talked about bringing in the L.A. sheriffs uh, to keep tabs on this guy. It, it is the kind of situation where they have a good look at him. They, ha they've, they have figured out where he's going right now, turning, following the 101 southbound towards the Coenga Pass. And this is uh, the place where it splits off and becomes the 134. But you can see, oh, there's just swerving. Oh, just it looks like he blew a tire completely there as he crossed over what appears to be a gore point. That's where the 170 meets the 101. A tire popped off the vehicle. You can see him now getting out, crossing lanes of the freeway, now running across the freeway. That is the northbound 101 as it meets the 170. Just escapes getting hit by a vehicle there. There's an on-ramp. He is trying to get away on foot now, crossed over the freeway, and down in this gulch area, we do have an LAPD helicopter overhead. Got him.